Netflix and I've had numerous individuals ask me if I would please show them how I do the jumbo size pieces um, with an image off of Google. First thing I want to tell you is I went into Cars. Um, I actually went into Cars Pixar and I picked um, this one because it had high resolution. Here you can go in and get more sizes and you get different resolution. I picked the one with the highest. And then all I did was, now i got to get back to my Google search here. Um, anyway, all I did was copy and paste it into my silhouette and there it is. First thing I'm going to do is take my trace area and I'm going to highlight over the car. Then I'm going to take my high pass off and I'm going to up my threshold so this entire thing is yellow. And the outline specifically, I don't care about the rest of it. And I'm going to put trace outer edge. Then I'm going to highlight over it again. I'm going to go to object. I'm going to go modify and crop. There, now I have just the car. I do not want the gray underneath the car. I don't want that. Oh, let me back out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife tool here. You can trace with the pencil. However, my hand is not that steady. And I don't do a very good job of it. And so I prefer to do the, the knife here. And to turn the knife off, you hit this arrow. I pull this piece out and I delete it. Then I'm going to go back to my knife again and I'm going to just follow the lines and a lot of them have to be just in real short little lines because I can't do curves. This is a straight line with the knife. But again, I do not like the freehand. Um, I bought the bamboo but the manufacturers of the bamboo, I was trying to figure out how to load it on my Mac because there's um, a Mac doesn't have a disk drive on it. So I called them and asked them how I could load it, and they explained to me that I only get one key. Um, so I can only put it on, which isn't true because I had it on two laptops. However, I got rid of both of those laptops, so... Here I am with a bamboo and absolutely no use for it. So it could be going up on eBay. But I find using this little knife here, I can control it pretty good and get my lines so they're not all goofy looking. At least I don't think they are. You know, some of you guys might be looking at them and going, hmm, that doesn't look quite right. There we go. Got rid of all of the gray. The reason I'm going so fast here is I've got to go back to work. And so I apologize that I'm kind of going a little bit quicker. This particular one, I should have picked out a different image. I'm going to turn this on the base. I'm going to pull it to the entire two feet. The way that this car is, she... Well, see, she doesn't have enough. She's coming off a little tiny bit here off the mat. But you know what? It's not enough to chop her up for. So I'm just going to make her a little smaller. She's about 23 inches. Okay? There. Now, if I take and copy and paste her, and then I'm going to make this one black. So that one is going to be my base that I'm going to cut out. Then I'm going to take this one off my mat and I'm going to change my mat to a 12 by 12 and I'm going to add my registration marks. Then I'm going to take her and move her on here. She is not going to fit on there. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to cut her out on 12 by 12 sheets of paper. So this is what I do. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Then I'm going to take my cutting tool again and I'm going to just pick some lines on her that I'm going to cut. And I'm going to start chopping away so that I can cut her in pieces so that I can print her and put her together on this base as one solid piece, or as not one solid piece. I'm going to layer her like you would a. Uh, um, uh, regular 
cricket, let's say cricket cartridge that comes in numerous pieces and layers and you layer them all up. And again, I am probably going way too fast because I have got to get back to work. So I'm going to cut all the way through here and I'm hoping that I made it all the way through. Sometimes I don't and I didn't on that one. So I need to zoom in closer and see where I missed my cuts. I see one right here. And I kind of figured I'm going to miss one right in here. Let me see if that did it. Nope. Where else am I missing? Oh, I see another one that I missed right here. And if anything is missed, it's not going to separate. And let's see if I got it. Nope. There's more missing. Oh, I see another one right in here. Again, I'm doing this so fast, and so I'm probably doing it. Yep, there we got it that time. Now, if I zoom out, that piece will fit on a 12 by 12 mat. When you go to put them together, they will fit together perfect, and you will not even notice any seams. Keep in mind... I went along the seam on the top of the car, the seam around the window, and the seam of the door. So when I pull it apart and I put it back together, you cannot tell. You can line them up perfect. Right there, I've got that piece. You can see that this part is not going to fit on there either. So all you need to do is pick up areas that are seams anyway. I mean... <clears throat> Like, for instance, the hood of this car. Um, let me see. Which route do I want to go? I think I'm going to go this route. And then I'm going to go back up and across. And then I'm going to go across here, across here, and up. And I have a feeling this is still going to need... Again, I'm going to have to zoom in. I really shouldn't be doing this right now. I really need to go back to work. And let's see if I can get this on this try. If I can't, I will start all over again tonight. Um, got a lot going on. We, I have a feeling that my new granddaughter is going to be born tonight. She went to the doctor today, and and um, I have a feeling it's going to happen tonight. And So I want to get some things done because I'm going to be taking some time off. There we go. Now I'm going to back up, and you can see that this piece fits on a 12 by 12 mat, so you can print it out. This piece, however, does not, even if I turn it, there's no way I'm going to fit it on a mat. So this one is going to have to be cut down as well. And probably what I would do with this one is I would just cut it right down the middle. And I have two pieces there, but I'm telling you, when you put them together, and if you line them up correctly, and you do it right, you can not tell. See, I'm going to pull it apart, and I'm going to put it back together, and your paper works the same way. There you go. That's how you do it, cutting it up in pieces so that it will fit on your mat. And again, when you print them out and match them up, the only thing I recommend is along these seams where you're going to connect them, make sure you put a good coating of your ATG tape because you want to make sure that none of these edges curl up. You want them to lay flat on these edges. Even use a, um, oh, I can't remember my Ziploc glue or something because you want to make sure that those pieces um, stay laying down good. I'm going to send him to the back, and there you have it. So if you have any questions, just let me know, and I sure hope this helped and this is what you were looking for. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.